Uh, more importantly, I want to talk about uh, what happened this weekend at the Pat Joke Theater. And um, uh, what a wonderful experience it was for me to, to be able to perform and uh, boo the musical um, at the theater. I had a, a part in there. I was the chairman of the Holiday Commission. And I was uh, I acted and sang a song. <clears throat> but more than that, uh, I look at it as, uh, you know, the, the, the whole production from beginning to end is a patch of production. It was written by someone who lives in art space. It was performed by people who live in patch of. The people who uh, volunteered to help out, uh, notably Chris Catabianco and his Live in the Lobby team, came and donated their time for the sound. We had ushers there, must have had <coughs> 10 ushers, all volunteers donating their time. Um, we had the staff of the theater there helping out. Um, we had the help of uh, our local newspaper, the Long Island Advance, put in an article. Thank you, Linda. Newsday had uh, information about it. And it was all generated right out, of, right out of here on Terry Street, out of art space. And um, that's what the theater is all about. And I, I know I say that quite often, and. Uh, you might be getting tired of me hearing about hearing, hearing about it, but um, it really was a very good experience. It was uh, about probably I would say two shows combination, maybe 400 children and parents were there, if not more, and they had a great time. And it was a little production on the big stage. It was originally supposed to be a, a, a lobby production, but they sold they saw ticket sales were moving so fast that we ended up moving it into the into the, what we call the big house. And uh, I think for anybody who's ever been on that stage, it's an experience that you'll, you'll never forget. And it's something that I enjoyed and, and uh, you know, my family enjoyed and my children enjoyed. And I just want to, you know, talk about that and, you know, how important those kind of things are to the village, the family, the local people, the people who volunteer their time to make that theater work. And, you know, you get a lot of people who say, well, maybe it should be sold off to somebody else, or maybe, a, a, you know, another company should run it. <clears throat> but I can tell you right now, knowing the business, that if another company ran that theater, we wouldn't have 400 children in that theater on a Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon watching Boo the Musical. It would be dark. And I want to give credit to all the people at the theater for the work that they've done and how they do volunteer. And if you go to a live in the lobby, and David, you go, and you know, a number of people who go there, you see how those volunteers work to create something on Main Street that wouldn't happen if the village of Pacho did not own that theater. So I just want to thank the theater and, uh, and the staff there for um, for what they do, and I want to thank the Beckermans for being such a big part of, uh, of Patcho, people who, who moved here from Stony Brook and felt that, in fact, Howard said it, it was a turning point in his life to move to Patcho. And uh, the things that they've accomplished and the things that they've contributed along with all the other people who live in art space and who live in other areas of the village and how they volunteer their time to make something like that happen. Pretty, pretty amazing thing. It's not so so common as you, you may think. Well, it doesn't happen in the Bolton Center, does it? No, it doesn't happen yeah, in those places. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't happen at the Suffolk Theater in, in, uh, in right. Riphead. It's a very unique situation that things happen there because people care about their village and they care about making things happen. And they care about entertaining people. And, uh, and that's... Uh, I don't have to say about that, except for next weekend, don't forget, the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra on Sunday. It's going to be a great show. So if you've never seen a, a big band live on stage, get your tickets and go see it, because it's just a magnificent experience. What time, you, what time is that? Uh, it's in, I think probably like 3 o'clock. It's an afternoon show, and uh, it's going to be a, a wing ding from what I hear. <laughs> so uh, please, uh, ne next
next time you walk past the patio theater, think of that. Think of all the good things that happen over there. So I have to say this. Yeah.